Hello, Southern California, and welcome to this week's edition of Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the CEO and president of Mosley Wealth Management based right here in Southern California, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. We are going to be talking today about refinancing your finances, specifically refinancing your retirement. Is this a good time for you to do so? What does that even mean? We have a lot to get into. So Tom, it's great to be back with you. I'm excited to have this conversation with you today. Hey, this is gonna be a great topic. It is, for yeah. sure. Well, we need to first kind of define what we mean when we're talking about refinancing our retirement. I think a lot of times when folks hear the term refinance, they think about refinancing their homes or their vehicles. And we typically want to do that when interest rates are lower. But recently, we have been in a higher interest rate environment. And what a lot of folks may not realize is this could be an excellent time for you to actually refinance your retirement. So we're going to talk about that today. There's some huge opportunities that are available that are also time sensitive that we don't want folks to miss. But first, why don't you define for everyone what we're talking about when we are using this term, refinancing your retirement? Okay, very good. Three years ago, I'm not a realtor, but mm -hmm. almost everybody who came in, we would really be concerned about what they were paying for interest rates if they still had a mortgage on their house. And in almost every case, if they were paying four, five, six percent, we were telling them if it appeared that they had good credit, we were telling them, you need to consider refinancing your home. Why? Because interest rates were low. Mm -hmm. At the same time, three years ago, we were never telling anybody that if they had a savings account of forty or fifty thousand dollars in the bank, which some people like to keep, to just we were never telling them, why don't you put more into that? Because you're making 0.25 percent interest per year because that's where interest rates were, that was the environment. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. For sure. Some yeah. people like change, some people don't like change. Some people resist it, right? <laughs> that's, you know, uh, don't talk about my wife, okay? She's not here to defend herself. She she hates change. My, do my baby girl hates change, you know? Mm -hmm. And, but some people embrace change. So if you're out there and you hate change to the point that you didn't refinance your mortgage, guess what? We're not telling you that anymore. Because what has changed, see the world changes whether we do or not, mm -hmm. what has changed in the last three years is interest rates are really back to where they were historically 40 and 50 years ago when they were at 6 and 7%. And the rates at the bank are not where they've been for 30 or 40 years at less than 1% for money markets. But there are some banks that are paying 4% for money markets right now just for having the money there and allowing them to use it. So things have changed. The world has changed. Whether you need to change or not, that's up to you. But the world's changed around you. And so when we come to the, to the idea of refinancing your retirement, Whereas right now it might be a horrible time to refi your house, it might be a great time and it is a great time to consider where are my investments? Did I for 40 years invest with that interest rate environment, with that inflation environment that we pretty much had consistently <gasps> go to sleep for 40 years and now We've gone to sleep and for two or three years, we've not taken advantage of the opportunity to come back in and maybe refi, not what we're borrowing, but what we're investing. And it might be a really good time for you to do that. It's so, I appreciate that you said it that way because I think that a lot of times it can get really confusing for folks of what's going on and there's so much noise out there in the news, right? right. But to your point, what is it about what's going on right now that makes this such a timely opportunity for folks to take advantage of these higher interest rates? Well, the higher interest rates, what the reason you should take advantage of, there's a lot of things that you lock in for longer periods of time. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, there are some of you out there who are CD fanatics. And, uh, you know, you love CDs. You never saw a CD you didn't like. That's who you are. Embrace it. Okay, you need to be going to your bank and evaluating what you're getting for that CD you put the money in three or four years ago. You need to be reevaluating that situation. What I'm doing right now is I'm looking at a lot of people who have locked in to certain investment products. And, and what they run a risk of interest. It's called interest rate risk because they locked in like on a money market, like on a CD at a lower interest rate for a longer period of time. And they're locked into that. And right now with the rates up here, 
It's a great time to lock in because the Federal Reserve has even said that over the next few months, mm -hmm. over this year, I just read uh, an article this morning that said that over the next few years, they're, that over the next year, they're going to drop interest rates probably three times, maybe four times, at least by their plan right now. Well, if rates are here and they're going to go here and you're locking into a rate, it's time for you to refi. It's time for you to look into those kind of things. And I'm running in to situations where people were locked in, particularly with variable annuities. Mm -hmm. And they've locked into a variable annuity because, you know, that, that advisor sold the variableness of the annuity, which is a lot like being in the stock market with a little bit of a tax break, a tax ramification to it. But they're locked into a variable annuity. And they're considering right now getting out of that variable annuity and locking it into a fixed annuity or a fixed indexed annuity because those are paying much higher interest rates right now in this environment. And the question is, how much longer are they going to pay that? I've already seen a few companies begin to, from that upper crest level that they've been out for the last six months to a year, they've already began to drop those rates a little bit anticipating a drop by the Federal Reserve in the cost of borrowing money. So right now is the time, not necessarily to go do something, just to be doing something, but to do, be doing something so that it can set you up at an advantage in what you're investing in. And I know that you have been so busy. Every time I talk to you, you've had meetings back to back. You've had a lot of folks come in recently that you've been able to walk through this refinancing process with of refinancing the things that they've been invested in. So do you have any good stories or examples that come to mind to illustrate this? I, I had a guy came in recently and he had six 401ks. That's a lot. That means he'd been a part of, of companies six different times that were substantial companies that offered 401ks and he had six 401ks that he had never consolidated. Some of those were locked into some of that old traditional low interest rate ideas with some of the investments that were in there. Some were performing well, some were performing poorly. One of the biggest things that people want to do, and this has really nothing to do with refinancing your retirement, but they want to consolidate what they've got so that, you know, rather than it being spread out all over the place, Krista and I recently had a lady came in. Mm -hmm. Her sister had passed away in Chicago. Right. And her sister had 32 different IRAs because wow. she was under the impression, and nobody ever told her mm -hmm. because she didn't have an advisor, she was under the impression she needed to start a new IRA every, every year. single year rather than just contribute to the old one. Bless so there's heart. a lot of things in, in the way of consolidating because if you've got 32 IRAs or somewhat less than that, some of them are performing well. Some of them are probably performing poorly. Now, by consolidating, by consolidating all of those accounts, the, the 6401ks or the 32 IRAs, then you're able to go in at a time where refinancing your retirement is a priority. You're able to go in and properly diversify. In other words, you might be able to say, I don't want all of my money, which you shouldn't, in something that's fixed, but maybe I, you want a portion of it. You, you somewhat want to take it off the table and you want to put it over there and you want to say, well, I want that to be fixed. I want to get 4% interest. I, I want that money market to just pay me 4% rather than the 0.25. And I want to consolidate it together so that we can do that. So that's what I'm running into right now. Mm -hmm. Not only are they invested in in places that they should they're they're better places right okay yeah. mm -hmm. they're better places for them to invest but then they're also spread out all over the place and we're able to consolidate because when you go to a bank even to get a higher interest rate on a money market they're not going to do it for five thousand or six thousand or ten thousand dollars they may have a threshold of twenty thousand or twenty five thousand dollars and you can do that by consolidating some of those accounts so you could get more boom for your bucks by doing that well and not to mention all the compound growth that you're missing out on when you have the amount scattered and rather than all consolidated working together. That's you know, there's an opportunity cost with that's that. That's exactly right. So mm -hmm. banks are paying better. Insurance companies are paying better. There are stocks that are doing better right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the companies right now, think about it, the companies right now that are not heavily leveraged 
That means they haven't borrowed tremendous amounts of money to continue and to fund their growth. If they're borrowing tremendous amounts of money, it may be hurting their stock price right now because they're paying more and more and more for that money that they're borrowing right now. So if you're invested in those stocks and you're not invested in the companies that pretty much fund their own growth, buy their growth, and they're able to self-fund, then you may be missing out because your stocks might might not be performing well because the companies you're invested in might be pay paying more for their money right now. So that's where you need the analysis. Well, if someone's watching this today and going, gosh, I've never thought about these things or I haven't worked with an advisor. I didn't even know that making some of these changes were possible. And you're wondering, can I go ahead and refinance my retirement? What would you say to that individual? Absolutely. You need a second opinion. If I am going to get involved with rocket science, Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go look up a rocket scientist, okay? <laughs> I just met with one on Friday and really? uh, had a good conversation with one of my clients who is a rocket scientist. Mm -hmm. I would blow something up <laughs> if I started to try to do his job. Mm -hmm. This is my job. This is what I specialize in, making sure that the timing is right for my people, that if it's right to make some changes, to make some moves. We make those moves because right now the time is right to maybe move some money around, to take advantage of interest rates, to take advantage of what's happening from a financing your retirement, not your house, but your retirement so that you can capture this before those rates begin to come down. Tom, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, if this is intriguing to you, if you would like another set of eyes on your financial situation to see what opportunities might exist for you to refinance your retirement, then we encourage you to pick up the phone and call this number on the bottom of your screen, 866-709-1462. What will happen is you'll be able to come in for no cost, no charge, no obligation. It's simply an invitation to have a conversation to see how Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management can help and serve you. And you're gonna be able to walk away with your very own complimentary retirement blueprint and looking at some of these refinancing opportunities and if they apply to you. If you'd rather not talk to someone right now, but you have your smartphone handy, you can simply pull that out if you open up the camera app, point, click, and scan that QR code down in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That will take you over to a landing page, ask you a few short, simple questions, and then a member of the team will reach out to connect with you to schedule your complimentary visit that way as well. When we come back, we're gonna be looking at how some of the opportunities that are on the table right now are time sensitive and how not taking advantage of them could cause problems. So stay with us. We'll be back after this. Fiduciary is a big word in our industry and fiduciary means you act in a client's best interest. At Mosley Wealth Management, you are an individual. You're different than anybody else on this planet. You look different. You've got a different social security number. You live at a different address. Everything about you is different. The first visit is just getting to know them, getting to know where they are. We literally start with a blank legal pad. And at the end of that meeting, we just say, okay, you've, you've brought a lot of stuff here. Do you want us to look at this stuff and see what we would recommend? And when I look at statements that people bring me from so-called fiduciaries and I, I ask them, I say, why did you get put 50% in this and 50% in, in this? Many times they'll say, well, that's what the advisor said he likes to do. My question is, would I do this for my mom? Would I do this for my dad? Would I do this for myself? So you really have to sit back sometimes and say, if I were them, if I were sitting on their side of the table, what would I do? And I've literally sat in my office at least once every two or three weeks and try to put together a case for somebody where it's iffy as to whether they'll make it or not. And you have to ask yourself, what would I do if I were in their situation? And never, ever recommend something that you wouldn't do if you were right where they are. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and today we are talking about refinancing your retirement and why now is the time to take a second look, to take a hard look at what your retirement plan is and see how you can take advantage of some opportunities that currently exist in today's economic environment. And Tom, you know, we talked in the last segment, obviously, with interest rates being higher, there's some opportunities that exist. 
Let's talk about how the problems that increasing interest rates can have, though, on your overall financial plan if you're not taking into these, these changes into consideration. Well, we mentioned it in the first segment. It, it could negatively impact a company's uh, stock because if they're borrowing money, then they're paying more for that money. And that traditionally has happened. Now, what's happening in the stock market right now they have what they call the Magnificent Seven, okay? Mm -hmm. NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon, the, those that are taking over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, those stocks right now are driving most of the growth of the stock market. If you take those away and you look at the real life companies that are below them, many of those companies are not doing that well. Mm -hmm. if, we had a, if we had a tech downturn, Mm -hmm. like we had in 2022, it would likely be a pretty severe downturn. You'll remember back in, in 2022, the regular S&P 500 was down about 18%, but the NASDAQ, which is the tech sector of everything, it was down about 32% in 2002. So if we face another one of those and those magnificent seven that are drawing and are driving the NASDAQ at an all-time high, the S&P at an all-time high, the Dow at an all-time high, if you took those seven away, it's, it's like we're, we're doing okay and a lot of companies are beginning to struggle. Macy's for, for once, they're closing 150 stores nationwide and mm -hmm. you see this on a regular basis that that even some of the tech companies are laying people off and and you see some of the the stock prices are continuing to grow so we have this feeling that things are going better but because the interest rates are so high it's just costing more money to do business unless your business is able to generate its own capital so that's one of the mm -hmm. the real negatives that are out there For and sure. then if they drop rates Right. And the banks begin to drop rates. Now, mm -hmm. the big banks, the too big to fail, and I'm not trying to get into prophesying here, but if the too big to, to, the too big to fail banks, they're going to support those. They're, they're going to be there. It's the smaller banks, and if you do much reading, it's those regional banks that are really in trouble right now. I happen to have uh, my son's fiance mm -hmm. works for a regional bank, and, and I used to have an employee whose dad works for a regional bank, and so I'm always looking for articles about regional banks, and some of those are really crunched right now mm -hmm. because of the, the higher interest that they're having to pay to get people's money to yes loan it at a higher interest but there's a lot of things going on that are what I would just classify as turbulence so this high interest rates has caused a lot of negative that's out there well we've talked about the negatives but as we alluded to in the first segment there's also some positives that folks can really take advantage of so let's represent those before we talk about some strategies well take advantage of it you're not you're not being abusive to anyone to take advantage of high interest rates. Refinance your CDs. Ref I'm, I'm working right now mm -hmm. with tons of you who are responding and we are able to get on fixed indexed annuities rates that we've never been able to get before. Mm -hmm. like, like for instance, every one of those annuities has a fixed interest account. Some of those with the established annuities that have been here, mm -hmm. some of the ones that the people have that are coming in, they're getting 1.2%, 1.3%, 1.6%. Wow, that's a big one for the for the annuities that are older. But there's some annuities that even in that fixed interest account, they're paying 3.55, 4.15% because of that higher interest rate env environment. And they're also in the crediting, which means as in those fixed indexed annuities, as the market goes up, you get more of the gain. Well, you get a percentage of the gain. That percentage is even better because of the rise in the market. So a lot of people are refinancing their income, their fixed indexed annuities right now because of these advanced rates. And, and you once you lock in, an, an annuity company puts pretty much the money that comes in in a certain number of days, whether it be 15 days mm -hmm. or 30 days or some 45 days, that becomes a batch. Well, if you started off in a real low interest rate a few years ago, we're finding 
that peop that these insurance companies are being able to offer more for a replacement, even sometimes if you still have a decreasing surrender charge left of two, three, even four percent, you may be able to find a bonus annuity out there that will bonus you more than what you've got. So if you feel like you're locked into an annuity and, and you're not happy with the rates that you've been getting, you need to let us know because we can help you right now. But remember, Remember, like I said in the first segment, rates are at their peak right now, even maybe beginning to drop a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if they continue to drop, it won't be as attractive. So this is, you don't hear me very often on this show, talk about something that's time sensitive and you need to call now. But you do need to call now because what you've got in your annuity likely could re be replaced by something far better right now. There's never been a better time to your point, Tom. And so if you're out there and you have an existing annuity contract and you haven't even looked or maybe you're not even sure, what are my other options? How could I potentially refinance this annuity, if you will, to put myself in a better situation? As Tom said, there's never been a better time to pick up the phone and call. That number to call is 866-709-1462. Or again, you're welcome to scan that QR code and that will get you connected as well. More here at Right On The Money with Tom Mosley right after this. Have you ever considered refinancing your retirement? When interest rates are low, you might be able to refinance your home, your car loan, even your credit card rates, because it could help you keep more money each month. Yet, when the interest rates go up, it might make sense to refinance your retirement. Higher interest rates could provide you with income opportunities that you might not be aware of. What works for your portfolio during low interest rates may not work for you when interest rates are high. Find out if a retirement refi could work better for you. Give us a call today and schedule a complimentary refi your retirement review. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. And today on the show, we've been talking about refinancing your retirement, what that could look like for you. Because really at the end of the day, what we're talking about is making things better for you. How could you make your financial plan better, your financial future better, your retirement even better? Because after all, Tom, better is just better, right? Better is better. Let me tell you a story, okay? Mm -hmm. Recently, about, well, it's about three years ago now, my daughter graduated from the University of Oregon, got her master's degree, teaching credential, and began to teach fifth grade in Orange County, where we live. And she came to me and she said, Dad, I'd like to trade my car. I said, okay, find the car you want on the internet. She found the car she wanted on the internet. We loaded up and, and she said, Dad, would you go over with me and help me trade the car so I make sure they don't take advantage? Sure, I will. So I got into the 2002 Honda Accord that has been in our family since 2002. <laughs> Lots I mean, of memories, right? <laughs> oh man, we love that car. I drove it, my wife drove it, my son drove it, my daughter drove it. It was like saying goodbye to your puppy. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, because that car had been in our family for over 20 years. So I got in the car and I'm, I'm looking for a button to push to and my daughter... It gets in the passenger side and sort of laughs at me and says, Dad, it needs a key. Mm -hmm. So I put the key in, and then we're in our driveway, and so there, there's no camera there. You know, it's just mm -hmm. the air conditioning. I had to actually turn my head around and look to be able to back up to make sure no cars were coming. And then we got out on the main street, Alta Vista there, and, and I'm looking for a knob over here to fix the mirror. I mean, and my, my daughter said, roll down the window and says, Dad, I have to do this by hand. Mm -hmm. So she did it by hand. Now, if you've got a car, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're push button now. There's a backup camera in almost every single one of them. You can adjust the mirror over here. Cars have improved. Here's what I'm saying by this whole show. Products have improved improved. We recently had a lady came in to see us and the first meeting she had with us, she was, she said, you know, my husband was with this broker. They golfed together and we've worked with him for 23 years. But since my husband's passed away, he, I think he's semi-retired mm -hmm. and we can't get a hold. Of, I can't get a hold of him when I call him. Mm -hmm. He does call me back, but he seems disinterested. And 
and she said, it's going to be really, really hard to move away from him, but I just don't feel I'm getting the attention I need from my broker. You know what that lady found out over two or three meetings with us that were all complimentary, by the way, as we built her a real retirement blueprint? She found out there was something better out there. She found out that it wasn't a push button or a rear view camera or a remote mirror control, but we were able to give her that ability to sleep well at night and to be able to show her a plan that her investments just weren't performing as well as they, they should have. Maybe 20 years ago, they were doing great, but that they had pretty much been gone to sleep on. That and they were it, just forget it, right? Set it yeah. and forget it. They yeah. were just where they were. We were able to put her in a better position by looking at better products. We were also able to do this. We were able to put in her hands a written plan. Now, what that does is this. It just gives that sigh. That sigh of relief. Right. There's right. a big book about know why you do what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Know your why. My why is when I sit across the table from one of you and you've responded to this program or our radio program or our podcast or our YouTube, you can find them all on our website and you come in and you sit there and you're all uptight because you've never retired before. This is your first time. And you're nervous about it, rightfully so. You've always had a paycheck, rightfully so. You've always known that the lump sum was what you were building, rightfully so. Taxes haven't been that big of an issue because that lump sum allowed you to save on taxes. Now everything has changed. Now you're starting to draw on that lump sum. You need to focus on income. Now you're worried about inflation because, you know, when inflation hits you when you're working, you'll usually get a raise. Guess what? You have to give yourself a raise once you're working for yourself in retirement. So you need a written plan that addresses those things. You need an advisor who for 29 years has focused on helping people retire, not accumulate, not grow, but preserve. That's what you need. And that's what could be better for you. It was tough saying bye to that old car. I, I promise you, it was tough. But she got a brand new car that's just suit. It even shows you how fast you're going in the windshield, okay? Here's what you need. You need something better. But to get something better, you've got to do something different. And that's you've got to call. Wonderful, Tom. Thank you so much. And to our viewers at home, it's really easy. Again, as Tom said, this is for no cost, no charge, no obligation. It's simply an invitation to have a conversation to see how the team of Mosley Wealth Management can help and serve you. 866-709-1462 is the number to call. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. We look forward to being back with you next week.